This is Lego set 40565, Santa's Workshop, with 329 pieces, and it retails for around 30 bucks on Bricklink for the cheapest, and I'm sure it goes up to hundreds and all that. And on Walmart.com, because I couldn't find it on Lego.com, like, what? Uh, it goes for $60, now on sale, for 53 so, I just built this, and I'm just going to do a review on it. Um, if you want a more in-depth review, uh, you should probably check out somebody else's, because I know I'm going to get some facts wrong and all that, and let's be honest, my voice is kind of annoying. So, let's get into it. So, now onto the main figures. Here's Santa. Um, so, he has a semi-exclusive face print. That's the face. And of course he has his signature beard and hat and the beard and the hat and torso have come on many, many figures. Once again, there's a candy cane in the belt. And then the only thing that's like super duper exclusive to him is of course the head and the dual mode legs, which I really like. I really wish I had this figure for when I had the Christmas special, 2022. By the way, go check it out. So, yeah, that was Santa. Now on to Santa's elf. So, I'm pretty sure the torso is exclusive, and I'm 90% sure that the ears are not. The paintbrush, I doubt, is exclusive, but if that is, that's really neat. And then the face is used on many, many figures. And does have some back printing, of course, with the little jingle bells back there, and the belt. Doesn't have any belt loops, so I'm not sure how it's holding up the pants. But this face has been used many, many times on many, many figures. Um, so yeah. Those were the main figs. So let's start off with the play features. So these doors can go open like that and close. Nothing stopping these doors from just going all the way one way or the other. So you could just have a totally lopsided door like that. But I personally think I'm going to display it like this, or just close like this. Um, it has two wreaths, and the doors are symmetrical, so this side is the same as this side. have a little window up here with a window piece that I don't think I have in my collection, so that's nice. Up here you have some jars and vials. Uh... Over there, you have a computer and a keyboard for Santa. Zoom in over there. And I'm pretty sure that's an exclusive print. And there again, you can see the vials or bottles, whatever. So you have blue, green, green over there. Blue, yellow, green. You have a nice little lantern up here, and this entire mechanism can slant back and forth, but it's supposed to be like this as the side of the barn. Have a candle up here, nothing special, just a candle with that new single flame piece that they released in 2022, I believe. Uh, the main figures, I have Santa right now, Looking at the toy line, so on the toy line you have a race car, a statue, a uh, controller, and some roller skates. And this can freely go in and out, um, but you would have to actually take this whole thing apart in order to make it go one way or the other. And let's see, you have some presents on the floor. So you have just green and white. Uh... Blue and yellow, Ukrainian, I guess. I don't even know. And then a dark purple. You have blue and dark purple. Magenta, I mean. Whatever. And then 
what you have here is you have some controls for this. And I don't like that they use the black Lego Technic pins because it really doesn't let you make this thing come up when you open it. See? So I think Lego would have just been better off using the light gray ones, light bluish gray. I call them light gray and dark gray, okay? Not light bluish gray and light dark, light dark bluish gray, whatever. I can't even speak. That's how crazy I'm going. Um, out here you have a little light and you have a, another view for that, uh, what's it called? I can't even sp speak. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going crazy. Sorry about that. All right, objective, objective. Lego, Lego, Lego. Keep that on your mind. Conveyor belt. Thank you. You have a little window here, which corresponds with the window in there. Hello. Uh, the elf has a little table. Um, and I have no clue how Santa's supposed to be able to type all the way up there because it's really up to his head at this point. But if you want a more in-depth review, I suggest going to another person's channel, like I said. But I have to make content somehow, so that was mine. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!